Hey guys, Setsper here. I'm just making a quick video to show you all how to get into experimental servers, the filters that you need, and the different ways that I've been told and I have used to get into experimental servers. So let's get started. So first, we're going to go to change server and make sure that your filters are set correctly. The host should be empty. Max and min players are at zero. Uh, max ping should be at zero or 999. This allows you to filter for any server despite their ping. You'll check full servers because mostly the experimental servers will be at 60 out of 60. Passworded should be unchecked and battle I required is default and press apply. So now you're going to see all of the servers right now that are up. The most convenient way and the most reliable way I've found of getting into a server is actually to go and look for a server that has zero players in it. And right now you can see this has zero players in it. And I'm going to press connect and you're going to see me spam in. And once my, free my server browser freezes, that means that I got it. Don't do anything. Don't touch it. Don't press escape. Just let your character load in, and that means you're in. So as you can see, that took me less than a minute to get into a server. That is 100% the most reliable way to get into a server. Wait for it to go down, and the moment you see a zero out of zero server, spam it. So side note, you're going to see that I'm in Cherno, I'm on the coast, and I am getting about 100, 130 FPS. So the renderer is actually doing very good work. I'm actually going to log out of the server right now. It's about 3 in the morning for me. And I'm just making this quick video in between finals to help everybody be able to get into an experimental server. So now we're going to get into the juicy parts that you were probably here for. We're going to pick a server. And, you know, they're going to be 60 out of 60. So we're just going to pick the first server here that we can see right now. So you're going to press connect and it's going to tell you maximum number of players have been reached. So once you do that, you're going to have to press enter over and over again. What I'm going to show you is to set up a macro and we actually have one made because I've retaken this video, but we're just going to do it again and we're just going to name it spam with a bunch of M's. So you have that right now, and you're just going to record you pressing enter a bunch of times. And you might say, well, Esper, I don't have Razer Synapse. I don't have a Razer keyboard. Well, that doesn't really matter because most of the keyboards that have, most of the mechanical keyboards come with a software and the basic idea is the same. And if you say, you know, Esper, I don't have a mechanical keyboard at all. You know, my keyboard doesn't come with a software. Well, you're in luck because the next thing I'm going to do after this is to show you how to download uh, auto hotkey and use it. So first we just get this one done. So I'm just going to disable this real quick. Um, for those of you who don't have the extra macro keys, you can just set any key to the key that you want. And just remember to unbind it once you get into Daisy, because if you accidentally hit enter, over and over again in Daisy, it will cause you a bit of problems. So we're just going to go to M1, which is my default for um, spamming into Daisy. We're going to pick macro and we're going to use the one we just made right now. And the most important thing for this is the playback option. So you're going to toggle continuous playback on and off using a sign key. So we're just going to pick that, save. And that means that when you press the key, it will run the macro for you. And once you press it again, it will stop the macro for you. So we're just going to get back into our Daisy server browser. We're going to press connect. It's going to join game. It's going to fail. Maybe. Yeah, so it says connecting failed. Make sure that your cursor is within this gray box over here because that's how it'll recognize that you're actually trying to get into a server. And we're going to press M1 right now. And as you can see, it's pressing enter over and over again, and it's refreshing and trying to join the server for us. So this is basically doing the work of you pressing enter over and over again. All right, I'm gonna stop the macro now. So the next way we're gonna do it is by downloading auto hotkey. Then the way you would normally do this is by going to your desktop, right clicking, going to new and going to auto hotkey script. 
and you click this, you right click, you edit, and this is where you would put your script. And you go, well, Esper, I don't know how to write scripts. Well, you're in luck. I'm making this video and I've spent a good chunk of time earlier today finding a script that I can modify to do what we want. So I'm going to put the source for the original um, script down in the description, but this is how I modified it. I didn't really modify it all too much. I just modified it to say that and added um, a delay for it. So the key that we're using right now is F8. If you want to change your key, there's actually a legend as to what keys are what in auto hotkey. So you're going to need to know which one these are. If you want to say make your hotkey control alt shift H, you know, you're going to have to put the appropriate symbols that correspond to control alt shift and, you know, the letter H. So if you want to change your hotkey, go for it. If you want to change the speed at which enter is pressed, you can make this number bigger. And that's all I need to say. So we're going to go and run the script. Yes, that shouldn't pop up if the first time you're using it. This isn't the first time I'm using it. I'm just showing you guys how to use it. Um, I'm going to press connect. It's going to say maximum number of players reached. I'm going to press F8 and it does the same thing that our keyboard macro does. And this is normal. I didn't intend to get into a server, and um, yeah. So as you can see, the macro works. Uh, I didn't actually intend to get into a server, um, but yeah, here's my character. I have an M4 with an ACOG, and I have a FAL with an ACOG and some rounds. And yeah, as you can see. It works, and right now I am in the wilderness and I'm recording and getting about 100 FPS. So, yep, you can see we're right outside of Grish. Uh, I'm going to get back in this tree, I'm going to log out because it's about 3 in the morning and I don't actually intend on playing. Oh shit, yeah, see? That's why you have to disable your auto hotkey. So, here you go, we're going to exit and... Um, we're going to give another person a shot who wants to play in the server. Totally unscripted, by the way. I didn't intend for that to happen. Um, so yeah, you can see the macro works. All right, so we're going to go to our next option right now. We're going to go to Steam, and we're going to go to View, and we're going to go to Servers. So remember how I told you to favorite all of the servers that you found for Experimental? Well, this is where it comes in handy. Um, instead of filtering out for servers, now you can just go to your favorite servers, pick a server that you want to join, and press connect. Okay, So you're going to press connect, and it's going to say server's full. You're going to press either auto, you're going to press auto retry, and either alert when a player slot is available on the server, which means that you will have to go to Daisy, wait for the alert, and then press connect as soon as you hear that alert. Or you can choose join the server as soon as a player slot is available. And this one will join you as soon as a player slot is available, but people have said that it's not nearly as effective as using a macro. So those are your options. Uh, it really depends what you want to use. If you don't want to download any programs and you don't have a program that comes with your keyboard, then you can just try that, or if you don't mind downloading a small program and running the script, you can use the auto hotkey script that I wrote. All right, so that's basically it, guys. Um, as you can see, the macro key works, um, and it is hard sometimes to get into servers, but it's worth the time. Please report your bugs if you are playing. I'll put the link down in the description for where you can report your bugs, and I will also put the original source for the script and the script that you can download and the download for auto hotkey in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I am in the middle of finals week, but I will try my best to help you with all of your questions. My Twitch and Twitter are also down below. So if you want to see me play games live for any more updates, follow me on Twitter. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!